So we'll be discussing two conditions. So the first one is what? Areolar cyst. Right? So this is areolar cyst. Okay, just cyst around the areolar area of the breast. Then the other one is what sub areolar breast abscess. Sub areolar, just what? Within the areolar area of the breast. You understand? So for the areolar cyst and sub areolar breast abscess, they're actually distinct conditions. They affect the breast. Alright. So that's the areola the nipple area okay so for the areola cyst now um it's a fluid field sac it forms in the areola so it's often due towards block sebaceous glands or montgomery glands right? so they can be blocked you understand so symptoms is um there's a small round lump in the are in the areola place just like you see where i cycle there so it may be tender or swollen and sometimes painful so infected cysts can cause redness or discharge all right so there's nipple discharge and the breast can be what if uh, yeah it can cause some minor inflammations leading to redness there so treatments is uh, if it is asymptomatic just observe then if it is having some post collections might have to like drain it you understand they give antibiotics if you are suspecting what bacterial infections Right, and sometimes, really though, really, you need actually surgery for that. Then for the sub areolar breast abscess, it's just post field infection. So I discussed what the possible cause of it before now I'm going to eat. You understand? So sometimes it might be coming in because you have an areolar cyst. Okay. So there's a post field infection located beneath the areola. So it's often caused by bacterial invasion, invasion, sorry, of blocked glands. Okay, so you have blood glands, you have like backlog of milk and all of that, right? So symptoms is there's painful red lump under the areola, the pulse or discharge from the nipple, there's fever or flu-like symptoms in severe cases. So causes could be maybe the woman was smoking sometimes, had some nipple piercing, piercing, you know all those bodies, right? The trauma. So sometimes you have some underlying disease conditions like diabetes and autoimmune diseases. Right? So treatment is um, you have post collection. So definitely there's a antibiotic bacterial infection there. So antibiotics, nipple aspiration or surgical drainage for severe abscesses. They address the underlying risk factors just to prevent it from reoccurring again. Okay. So that's it for these two conditions as related to the breast.